Okay, hello and welcome. This is a previous acrylic pour that I did. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to paint a stingray or a manta ray onto this. So I have been practicing. I did draw three different ones, um, practice ones here to try to figure out what kind of shape do I like. And um, so this was just this was just in my sketchbook. And so this one here is the one I think I like the most. So I am going to see if I can kind of recreate this. So I'm going to try to draw it out. I'm going to do it a little bit bigger on the canvas. Um, and I don't know how well my pencil will show up. I've done this before and I've had to use, usually I have to use um, like an acrylic marker to get it to show up. Um, but I'm going to give it a try and I should have just actually drawn this bigger and then traced it, but um, that's okay. I think um, I'm going to try freehand. So what I'm going to do is if I can actually get this on here, I've got a few things. So I want to, because this canvas is so dark, there's a lot of greens and blues, it's going to be really hard to show up. So I am going to probably paint it with a metallic black paint maybe some pearl white um, for some of the highlights and I've also got a silver here um, and maybe that will also help and I do have a copper in case I run into where I can't really see it I have a lot of metallics I even have metallic red and blue and stuff but I think I try to keep it to the neutral color so it doesn't clash with the with the blue and the no. green. Uh, but I do have um, a nice little trick here that um, my sister taught me actually. Um, and I, I, sorry, I've got some water in it, but um, if you get some um, wax paper and you have a, a container, so I've got a kind of a, this is from a, um, a fast food or not for, sorry, a restaurant food order uh, that, that I got. And um, it's a kind of a, um, an airtight container once I put the lid on. And if you get a, um, this is just one of those, um, like, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they actually absorb water. And if you put one underneath, you can even do it with paper towel probably, um, and, the, and you get it very wet. And then you put your wax paper over top. Um, and I know I got some water in here, but this will keep your acrylic paints wet for a very long time. Um, so I've had this in here for probably a week and it's pretty wet. Um, I probably put a bit too much water in is probably the problem, but it will seal in the water pretty well. So I, that anyway, that's a little trick if you don't want to buy yourself an expensive palette or whatever. But I do have retarder uh, fluid if, if it starts to, um, see it says additive for slowing or drying the time of the acrylic paints and mediums. And I don't really want this to be too watery because I don't really want it to absorb too much. So I might keep them them pretty solid if I can. Um, and then I've got an array of brushes there as well behind me. So I will see what brushes I will need to use. Um, on the last one that I did like this, I had to paint it all in white first, um, just so that you could actually see it and, and that it actually gave um, brighter color I'm not sure if I'll have to do that on this one. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So again, I'm going to try to recreate this ray right here and we'll see how it goes. I guess I can just try to freehand it with the marker, the acrylic marker, and uh, hope for the best.
Okay, so I don't like this part right here because I think it needs to come up more like this. Okay, so I am going to take a chance here. And I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to have to probably put a few more dots on it, but the, that's just the way it's got to be. It's the next day. I took another look at the painting and I just wasn't happy with the wing portion right here. I just feel like it needed to be, um, the, the shape needed to be changed a bit. So I um, actually filled in some of the, the green here last night um, so that I could reshape this wing. And um, so that's where we are this morning. I'm going to try to fix this as best I can. Hopefully it'll work. Um, so we'll see. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, take some of the black out of here and I'm going to reshape the wing. Um, so I'm just going to add a bit more paint to my palette. And uh, let's give it a try. 